focus on our single table remaining. And we've got our chip lead, so let's try and win this shit. And prove that I can compete at the smaller documents too. Oh wow, we've got a considerable chip lead now. He lost some chips. It's been a while since I've made a final table on a smaller buy-in. Um, I think leading into the final table bubble, I'd probably be quite aggressive is going to be my game plan. Uh, we could raise that. We could steal here. Okay, we'll give it to him. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of open living that still goes on at these stakes, uh, deep in tournaments. And I'm not used to it as much. I'm never quite sure how to handle it. It's not something I've encountered so much in my stakes. And tried to figure out, well, how is best to play against this in these situations? How frequently are they going to be limping big pairs compared to limping stuff that they're going to either limp fold or limp call that's not that hand? Yeah, this is not a good board to bluff on if he's bluffing. Not a good board. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. And another thing I'm not quite used to is what the shoving ranges are at these stakes. Um, I think a lot of the guys on the on Savvy and on the forums there who ask questions would probably have a better idea of what the shoving ranges are at these stakes than I would. Um, so when I look at those threads and you know wonder how to give feedback on them, I'm never quite sure because I just don't have the experience dealing with them. At the more mid high stakes, you can just expect you know if somebody's got like eight big blinds on the button, it's just ATC. Fortunately, we have one table. There's actually not too much to talk about, strictly from a strategy perspective. What we could do is, uh, what I like to do when we're one tabling, is to look over various threads in 2 plus 2 and see if there's anything interesting we can pull up. And discuss those thoughts while I'm less involved. So I'll probably be browsing through various threads and seeing if there's anything that really leaps out at me that we could talk about.